Hey everybody, Coach Jason, Arm Pitching Development, your free online pitching coach. Back for another segment, helping you amplify your mechanics and grow your pitching knowledge. You'll do this by hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts. So tonight I'm giving you guys a throwing progression for accuracy that we're doing inside of the program. I thought it'd be nice to share with you guys. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going into is a front-facing offset rotational throw. One thing of note, when we're going into throwing progression, we're trying to warm up the arm and prepare to take the mound. And so I want your focus, your intent, your concentration on leading into the mound on where your target is with your partner or whatever you're throwing into for that moment. Going into front facing offset rotational throw. What I do is slightly offset outside of my hip width here. And as a right-handed thrower, my front foot, my left foot is about a foot distance in separation between the two. The idea or point of this is to feel a little bit more on the external hip as I'm rotating back and leading out with that hip to bring my arm through an extension through the release point. Also, what I want to do is finish over my uh, left leg here instead of finishing around it. So this offset position makes me feel the, uh, forced into trunk flexion a little bit better. So this is why I like this drill, especially as an opener. Good athletic stance, just set uh, hand position, work back into rotation, back up into throw. All right, we'll do one more demonstration. And throw through your target. Okay, number two on our throwing progressions uh, for accuracy starting to get on the mound is our rocker throw. Uh, not to be unfamiliar with this, I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot, the rocker throw, but one thing I'm gonna add to this tonight is when you set up on your rocker throw, try to be heel to heel and clear space a little bit better for your uh, hip drive through a uh, target and extension through the release point. And then also something to think about is finding a good neutral spot here where you're kind of have a pull or something in the middle of it. And what I've been telling the guys is try to offer, uh, try to be on the back side of your vertical pull as you're going through this movement. A lot of guys I'm seeing are twisting off of this. What I'm looking for is Keeping your weight back, stretching the hip out here, and extending into a quad just a little bit deeper here, and then building up to shoot the hip back out and extend through the throw. So a couple of things, maybe technique-wise, you guys um, are missing out there. Open up just a little bit, and keep the left shoulder in, staying back, stay back, build up, and shoot through. One more for demonstration, heel to heel, Slightly open toe, neutral set, left shoulder closed, back, back, shoot. One side note on the rocker throw, especially from an accuracy perspective, try to make sure we, we're again finishing over uh, your lead leg and trying to keep your head position and your chest position in line with your target as well. Uh, you'll see myself stay connected just a little bit longer. I'm not rushing my backside through. That's just to feel the extension of the release point over my front, front side to get maybe a little more perceptual velocity and get comfortable with that position. Okay, our third uh, throwing progression piece tonight, uh, call it a two ball throw. Two ball throw, you'll see I have two baseballs. And what I'm trying to do is a little bit of arm action, a little bit of back hip feel on this and, and a little more active movement through my throw so it kind of gets me in line with getting ready to pitch. On this drill, I just have the guys hold their arms out in front and it's a two-step movement. So we're gonna draw back left, big separation right and pull back. One thing of note on this, I try to get into a vertical shin here and load back on the quad just a little bit better to feel the extension through the throw. And then once we get off of that, we'll change ball hand We'll come back and then we'll do a right, left step, throw through. So let's go through the drill. Two ball neutral stance here, left, right, throw. Right, left. Throw. On that one, just to be honest, it feels a little more comfortable with me releasing the back foot following through that throw just because of the dynamics of the movement. So to feel comfortable with that one, 
I would say go ahead and release and try to get your back hip through your follow through just a little bit better. Okay, our last and final, our fourth throwing progression on this series is going to be a hybrid walkthrough throw. So this comes through where we're trying to get into our hip just a little bit as we're walking through it. And then we're gonna build up into our load, which is gonna force, you're gonna feel a little bit of energy wanting to take you forward with that, which is kind of nice. So when, when we're pitching, we're feeling the, the weight distribution going forward. This drill kind of helps with that. When I'm rocking into it, I feel balanced up and I feel that, that connection of my energy driving forward. So this is why I kind of like this drill leading into taking the mound through our bullpen. So we'll just set it up, inward draw, load up, and then finish it through. Simple as that, you don't have to put too much on it. Remember these are warm up throws, uh, just progress throws leading into your mound. Good, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the drills tonight. Um, hope you have a successful fall ball season out there or spring season, whichever season you're in. And thank you guys so much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate that. Hey, for uh, more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. And also, if you like the content we shoot here, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And until I shoot the next video, I look forward to seeing you next time.